In today's video, we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator to create this flat design pine tree. Fairly simple one, so let's get started today by heading up to our file menu and making a new document. From here, we're going to go across to the web tab and we're going to select the 1280 by 1024 pixel document and click on create. Now, the first thing we want to start with today is a background color, so let's just grab our rectangle tool. In our properties here, we'll turn the stroke off. So just choose the box with the red line going through it. And for the fill color here, uh, we're going to choose a, I guess a kind of lightish orange um, or yellow, something I suppose like that. Okay, the code, if you want to copy me, is FFC95F. Okay, once you've got that color sorted, click and drag a rectangle or square actually that goes across your entire page like so. Now once you've got that in, grab your selection tool, just click on it once, and in your layers panel, expand layer 1 by hitting that little arrow next to it. And this rectangle layer here, we want to lock it into place, so just come across next to the eyeball there and hit in that empty box and you'll see a little padlock appears, which will lock it in, and that means we can't modify it anymore. Okay, to get started on the pine tree, we'll start with the green leaves, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to grab it not our rectangle tool, but if we hold our mouse down on the rectangle tool, we can get the polygon tool. With the polygon tool selected, come back to your properties, change the fill color to a green color that you want the leaves to be. Okay, feel free to use a swatch screen, or you can go use your color mixer just to adjust the greens a little bit and get the one that you're after. Okay, I'm just going to... Use something like that, looks pretty good. If you want to use more hexadecimal code, it's 4D8845. And what we're going to do, instead of actually drawing a polygon onto the page, oops, we're actually going to click once, and make sure the number of sides on your polygon is equal to 3. The radius you want, we'll set it to about 100 pixels, and we'll press OK. That's going to give you a little green triangle on the screen. Alright, so what we're going to do with this first triangle is just position it somewhere near the center of the page, like so, and then we're going to duplicate it. So, using your selection tool, hold down Alt on your keyboard. While you're holding Alt, you'll see that your mouse cursor changes to a little black and white arrow, which means we can actually pick this shape up and duplicate it. Hold Shift when you're moving it down, and drop it just at the very bottom of the original triangle. Okay, and you'll see now you've got a duplicate triangle with the tip of it attached to the base of the first triangle. Now what we're going to do is actually um, increase the size of this second triangle one and a half times what it is now. Okay, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on it once with our selection tool and come over to our properties panel. You should see the transform section here and you'll see some letters that say W and H which is the width and the height of this shape. We want to adjust the width Okay, so click in the W box there, and just at the end, you'll see the PX. Press space, okay, and I want you to write in an asterisk, and then write 1.5. What that's going to do is it's going to times the size of our shape by 1.5. And when you press enter, your shape will grow one and a half times its original size. Now, if only one size, ah, uh, sorry, one side of your shape resized, then it's probably because this little chain isn't turned on. Okay, so if yours looks like that with the line going through it, I actually want to click on it and turn it on so it adjusts the width and the height at the same time. Okay, and once you have this triangle drawn, you can pick it up and put it smack bang on top of the other one. You want the two tips of the triangles to be uh, level with one another. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to click on this big triangle, hold shift on our keyboard and press the down arrow four times. So one, two, three, four. And that puts it into position, and we've got the top of our tree looking good. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to basically duplicate this two more times. So we get four layers to our pine tree. Okay, so we're going to click on this second triangle now. Hold the Alt key, and we're going to click and drag down. Hold Shift at the same time too. See, a triangle comes directly below the other one. And snap it onto the bottom of this second triangle. So you've got something looking like that. Now clicking back on this third triangle that we've added in, we want to change its size. So again, go back over to the Properties panel and in the Transform section, just times the width here by 1.5. So at the end, after the PX, 
just write asterisk 1.5 and press enter and that will increase the size of your triangle by 1.5 now what we want to do is get this triangle here smack bang on top of this other triangle okay the second triangle so what you can do I'm just going to zoom in a bit here it's a bit hard to see but I actually just hover my mouse over the top of the second triangle there and use my arrow keys to nudge this bigger triangle into position so it's basically sitting on top of the other one something like that near enough is good enough once you've got this bigger one on top hold shift and press the down arrow four times again you can see now we've got three layers to our pine tree we'll do that one last time so click on the big triangle hold the alt key on your keyboard and shift and drag down drop it into position there change the width times it by 1.5 press enter you've now got the next part of your tree okay so bring that over to the center here and zooming in I'm going to be able to move this up so it's pretty much level with the other one use your arrow keys to nudge it around until you get that bang on very close to it probably somewhere around there Okay, you can now click on that bigger triangle, hold shift and press the down arrow one, two, three, four times. And you've now got the leaves done on your pine tree. Uh, so what we're going to do now is turn this all into one big shape. Because as you can see now as I move my mouse around, we've got lots of different triangles making up this tree. So what you need to do with your selection tool is click and drag over the top of it to select everything. You can see all the different shapes that make up this tree. We're then going to grab our shape builder tool from our toolbox using the shape builder tool we're simply just going to click and drag our mouse over the top of all the different shapes okay and that's just going to combine them together and make this tree one big shape like so all right so you can now pick it up move it around resize it and it's just one big shape it's no longer made up of all those little triangles last thing i want to do to the leaves here is just put a bit of a shadow on them to give it that um, usual flat design look and the way we do that, it's quite simple. We just go back to our toolbox and grab our rectangle tool. Change our fill color here to black. Whoops. Make sure you've clicked off the tree when you do that. I just realized I still had the tree selected. That's why it changed to black. So I've clicked off the tree now. Change my fill color to black. And I'm going to change the opacity to 35%. And I'm simply going to click outside the tree and draw across half of it. Okay, go outside the lines if you need to, which I do recommend. And you'll have something like this. Looks like the opacity didn't work, so just change that opacity again to 35%. That just makes it a bit more transparent. And we just want to delete now this extra black space around the outside of the tree. And we can do that quite simply using that shape builder tool we used a moment ago. Before we do that though, just grab your selection tool and highlight everything on the page. Then go and grab your shape builder tool. Instead of actually building shapes this time and joining them together, we're going to get rid of shapes. So you need to hold the Alt key on your keyboard. And when you do that, you should see your mouse cursor change from a little plus sign to a minus sign, which means we're getting rid of stuff. And all you need to do is click on this space here or click and drag into that space, and it will remove all of that black shape that was around the tree. All right, so now our tree's got a bit of depth. It's got that shadow added to it. You can click and drag over the top of all that, and then right click and group it together so now when you move the tree around or the leaves at least the shadow follows it all right the last thing we're going to do is put a trunk on this tree the way we do that is with the rectangle tool again change your fill color to a brown okay it's just up to you to work out what brown you want exactly um, just be, be fussy make it look good Okay, play around with those levers until you're happy with the brown you've got. And then simply click and drag out a trunk. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered at the minute, because we're about to do that. It should look something like that. Now to get this trunk perfectly centered in the tree, I'm going to highlight using my selection tool, both the leaves and the trunk. I'm going to go up to my window menu and select align. And then I'm just going to choose this option here, which is the horizontal align center. And it just centers both of these objects horizontally okay last thing we need to do now is just put a shadow on this trunk and we are done okay so i'll zoom in on the trunk grab the rectangle tool and like before we're going to use 
black. And I'm going to simply draw a little rectangle that comes probably not halfway into the trunk. We're just going to go a quarter of the way into the trunk. Um, now once we've got that drawn, just jump over to your opacity there and we'll set it to 35%. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we just want to cut off this extra black space here. Okay, we just want to have that darker bit on the trunk left behind. So using your selection tool, just highlight all the elements on the page. Grab your Shape Builder tool again from your toolbox. Hold down the Alt key. Remember the Alt key will allow you to remove shapes rather than join them together. And you can just click on this extra space around the trunk of the tree. Grab your Selection tool and just click back on the tree there. Control 0 will help you zoom out so you can see it all. That's looking pretty good, so I might just join them together. Right click and group them. Now you can make that bigger or smaller as need be. But that is how you draw a simple flat design pine tree in Adobe Illustrator. Now remember, remember when you're saving, there's a few options here. You can save it as an AI file, so an Illustrator file, so you can come back and edit it. At another, at another point, you can save it as a PDF if you want to print it. You can also save it as an EPS file. Okay, I'll just save it as an AI file for now. If you want to use it for the web um, or on mobile devices, just go to Export export for screens and either choose the PNG option or the JPEG 100 option. I'd probably stick with PNG for this image. Alrighty, so I will see you in the next video. That's all we've got for today.